Hey everyone, I'm taking a question from Siobhan, and Siobhan's question is, does a dip in a temperature chart indicate that ovulation is coming or that ovulation has already happened? Okay, Siobhan, so the short answer is neither nor. Basal body temperature charting is generally done to assess whether ovulation has already happened, not if it is going to, okay? But gauging this is not done by observing a dip in temperature. It's actually done by observing a rise in temperature. What normally happens with ovulation is a rise, like I said, but not just any rise. It needs to be a significant rise in temperature that lasts for at least three consecutive days. So if your temperature has significantly risen for at least three consecutive days, um, you probably ovulated. If at the end of that significant three-day rise, your temperature dips back down again, um, that is an indicator that pregnancy did not occur and your body is probably getting ready to start another cycle. If your temperature stays risen, that is an indicator that that pregnancy happened. Okay, now as far as predicting ovulation goes, um, you really cannot predict ahead of time by looking at your current chart. Um, though many women do experience a slight dip in temperatures sh shortly before ovulation, um, it really isn't a sure thing. And the only way that you can use a chart to predict ovulation is by looking at your um, charting history, okay? So not your current monthly chart, but the charting history, when do you usually ovulate type of thing. There are other non-charting ways, though, to predict ovulation, and some of those are ovulation predictor kits and or saliva scopes. Okay, now keep in mind, though, that what I just did was um, I basically spoke to a normal cycle. Now, if you're having infertility issues, and if, say, you have PCOS, or if you're anovulatory, if you have gotten any problem in you that's not due to a male factor issue, you might not have a normal looking chart. So this is why I stress um, getting medical intervention for infertility because what you'll do through getting medical intervention is the objective there will, to, will be to find out exactly what the problem is and then treat that problem so that your body can begin to produce normal healthy cycles. All right. Thank you again, Siobhan. Thanks so much for your question. Thank you for your support. And everyone else, we will talk to you later. Bye.